What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA 2K23 Core Showcase video, and I'm back with you with another Christmas edition. Yes, we have a brand new Christmas Par 3 golf course designed by the great designer, Rich in UFC 99. Many of you may know the designer by the name of Richard Hall, and Richard did it again. This Christmas golf course is epic, it is so well done, and it's a very aceable Par 3 golf course. So I'm going to challenge each and every one of y'all to try to get an ace on this golf course. And that's my main goal here today. Not only to showcase this great course, but also to get a dedicated ace for Richard Hall. Could you imagine what a day that would be? It would be a Christmas miracle if we could pull that off. Uh, but for today's showcase, we're going to be playing the course from pin location number one. Going to be playing medium wind speeds, all the rest default conditions here for this round of golf on our journey to get an ace thank you all for all the support here on the channel if you get some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and you can check my full playlist i have linked for you all in the description if you're looking for other course showcase videos but richard always does a fantastic job with every single golf course and this part three course is so well done it is beautiful and you get to the first hole here like are you kidding me we're shooting right over the pond here. Beautiful winter wonderland here. And you had the Christmas presents as the tea pads. I mean, it is so cool. And then look, hanging on the trees, you have the uh, ornaments, the snowman there to the left. Like it just feels like Christmas, right? So well done. And of course, Ryan Gamer is rocking his, uh, his festive holiday gear. Love to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot here for hole number one. I want to start this flyover and show you all a lot of the the holiday elements here. So you have ornaments on a lot of the trees. You have some candy cane, a, a candy cane trail here. A gingerbread house. Like, I just love this. It just has a great, great Christmas feel to it. So Richard did a great job. Look, you have the train back here as well. Set a sleigh, of course. What if they're serving hot chocolate at some of these shops? And hot fudge. Ooh, hot roasted chestnuts here. Where's the hot chocolate at? I'm sure it's here somewhere. Hot coffee! All right, Richard. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to fly up so you can see more of this plot of land. It is just a beautiful, beautiful golf course. A, it's just such a fun par 3 course to play. There's so many scorable golf holes and very aceable golf holes as well. But I love how this sits uh, sits along the river, I guess is what you would call that. I'd call that a river. Maybe it's a couple lakes joined together or pond. I don't know. But it just looks so good. The tree, the snowy trees, the snow everywhere. Just so beautiful. And then you have some houses down here as well. Be a great place to live, wouldn't it? Live down here. And some more Christmas decorations here. So cool. But there you have it, everybody. Brand new Christmas Part 3 course from Richard Hall. He always delivers with every single course. And as tradition on a Part 3 course, we dedicate the first tee shot to the designer. So Richard, wherever you are out there on the World Wide Web, 113 yard Part 3 Dedicated ace. It should one time is ready, please, everybody. Come on. One time. And please, Bob, would you consider kicking right? Well, it's going to kick right, John, but not enough on it. Not enough on it. Not a terrible golf shot, but it could have been better. Shot. That's a safe and shot. Thanks, John. Feet from the cup. But hey, we've got a pretty chance. But you know, the ace is what matters. When I play par three courses, I want an ace. Oh. Ooh, almost a dedicated birdie. Well, uh, good to see the greens are like ice, which makes sense. Setting up here now for our third shot. Is this going to be one of those opening ho opening dedication bogeys? No, it's not. <laughs> ah. Ooh, just. Richard wasn't expecting anything oh, less. Uh, Richard, as is customary on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel, when we play par three courses, we dedicate the first hole 
as a bogey to the designer. And we're ending this hole with a bit of a tap. Uh, moving on. And you're one over moving on. Moment. Nobody saw that. Nothing to Can see there. Here on and the let's second. just move on and look at this view. Snowman to the right. I love these tee pads. The snow-capped mountains in the backdrop. This golf course is picture perfect. Are you kidding me? Wow. Just wow. Let me get a closer look at the uh, presents. What do you think is in each tee pad? tea pad there do you think like you can sit there and open them now this is a tough par three here 153 yards you hit it too far you're in trouble i'm just gonna hit a partial eight iron put it on that right side roll it down that's not a bad swing at all oh coming in for a landing on the green slight fast that is perfect why didn't i dedicate that one well done. Instead of the That's first one. Nice little approach shot there. And this is uh, your look. Hey, let's birdie. get it back. But the good news is about that dedication, a bogey in Stabler Ford format is still one point. So that one point was for you, Richard. That makes it any it's better. Going. And a birdie. Yep. I Come you on. Added in a great way to bounce back. Birdie okay, back to even. After bogeying the last. Great stuff. And then we have an ace up the slope up here. We got a an ace. An ace opportunity. With the ball you all already know this ball is probably going off the green since i already said ace 193 yards uphill 41 with a tailwind i'm gonna go five iron little loft coming into a bunker near you uh some somebody well, miscalculated that one i blame ryan gamer for that one green side sand looking for an up and down here oh for two so far the aces any of you all, all right, predicted an ace to do here like anybody out going out a limb and be like ryan's getting an ace today left to save par maybe one of you out there Good saying job. that thank you for the confidence we need a christmas miracle here we need the ace all right Staying at even power after that hole. I like the the firewood in ran, random places hole. as well. It was on the last hole too, but these snow-capped mountains in the background and like the trees, sculpting, everything is just gorgeous on this golf course. It's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna like it a lot more if we could ace it. Imagine. Okay, we've hit a perfect tempo. Twice in a row, or maybe three times in a row. Funnel right, please. That's not what I meant, but okay. A mm, little off on that approach, but that's okay. A little, but you know, a lot of the rounds where people have aces, they're like, you know, you get bogeys, doubles, quadruple bogeys, and then there's an ace on the scorecard. With that chip so I'm not worried. We got plenty of ace left opportunities left. And after that even one, through even four. Is your score. What if I just don't think about it? Let's just not think about an ace. Let's just Keen play golf. On the fifth. Wow, what a view. What a view. Wow. It really is a winter wonderland, isn't it? Oh, this is the ace opportunity. 121, downhill 28. All right. I know I said I wasn't going to mention it. And I didn't. Tempo is spot on right now. If we could dial in swing plane, we may not miss. <laughs> but swing plane has kind of been, you know, everywhere. Yeah, you'll take that. Ryan right, just has a, a nice smile on his face. Footer. You know, he's he's feeling festive today. 22 feet, uphill, one foot. Steady left to right. Such a peaceful golf course, too. Wow, what a great golf course. Ugh, rolled right by. I, I didn't see that much break. On this hole, we've got this left for par. We'll take our par. That'll do nicely. Well, uh, at least we've had one birdie today. We're still at even. But again, my now, goal is to get an right ace. There. It's not about that the score count. for me on par three courses. Hole number six. 187. Uphill 27 feet. Six iron. Loft and backspin and attack it. What a beautiful view, though. Oh, 
Wow. Okay, the wind just... We're well, missing a lot the of these short-sided one, shots. I've already forgotten about it. Thanks, John. John already has already forgotten about it. Hope you all have too. Well, make sure you add that one to a shot you this all forget as well. Oh my. Wow, Ryan, are, are you okay out there? Have you ever played golf before? Oh, you have? Okay. And let's just drop one shot on this hole. This one's well, remote. well, well. This is not Nicely a done. very difficult golf course. But when you miss shots, it, it you may be one over through the first six holes. Okay, sitting at one over huh. par. Uh, and now we're teeing her up on the seventh hole. Can somebody call in the birdie train now? 186. Put this to the left. And I'm not even going for an ace. I'm just going to try to hit this ball on the green. Tempo's been on. It's not. Tempo has not been the problem. It's been shot setup and swing play. That's not bad, though. We're dancing. That'll do for the approach. Godspeed, my friend. These views are amazing. Very long. Hey, John, we got this 30 feet uphill, three inches, steady left to right. Last minute correction to add more left to right break. And the last oh, minute correction right is why we missed it. This one is Nothing is worse three when you have the read, but then you, you change your mind at the last second and that happens. Oh, good so far. And just one stroke over par at the moment hey there's that plenty of up. We got a golf left to deal with i should have hit the range before the showcase i was so confident i was so excited when i saw this course i'm so excited and i'm like i don't need a warm-up today no we don't need a warm-up let's just go straight in yeah great idea ryan <laughs> yeah let's i have a better idea why not hit the range first Oh my. But you all yes, know what that means. That's a good swing. Back is going to be exceptional. Remember I said this. Back is going to be exceptional. It's gone. It is gone. Yep. Well, all right. missed the green there on that one. We could chip this in though. Okay, second shot here on the eighth hole. Come, come right, come right. Oh, it needed Ooh, to go to the right there. Done on the chip shot. We'll take a par. All right, that Better than go. bogey. And after that I need one, some water. Sitting at one over par. I don't have coffee with me right now, but wow, I wish I would have made some. And look at this view. Are you kidding me? Exceptional, Richard. Richard, if you come across this video, thank you. Thank you for this winter winter wonderland. Are you kidding me? Did I sing Christmas carols? No, no, no. <laughs> I won't put you all through that one. Oh, my. 227 yard par three. Into the downhill slope. Downhill 64. Well, here goes something. Come on, kick left. Bounce left. John asked for it. Let's see if we get it. This may roll all the way down. Well, it's it's gonna roll all the way down, but I wanted it to roll all the way down to the left. It's off the green, right? Yep. And here's our second shot on That's the That's okay. Ninth. You chip this in. Gotta do full loft and backspin because these greens are fast. They are like ice, which makes sense. Wouldn't that be nice to save par on this one? It would be nice, John, but this one's tracking. might be asking too much for Ryan Gamer right, in the snow. Get out of here with a par. Hey, Ryan Gamer's just stiff. You know, he's got to loosen up here in the snow. And he's a busy multi-sport athlete. Yeah, he's he's sore. One over for the round. From all his sporting endeavors. So he's just got to loosen up. The joints are stiff this morning. What a beautiful view. Like, this this golf course is gorgeous. Every single golf hole has been fantastic. 
views. Like, this is just exceptional. All right. Hole number 10. We make the turn with the chance here. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to put this on the left side. It's going to roll down that slope and around into the hole. I can't say that without laughing because <laughs> I, I just know how my call my shots have been recently. Well, that was a fine swing. Fine swing. Hold that thought. <laughs> yes! It yep, didn't go in though. I'm but that. what a golf shot. Yes, finally. Finally, Ryan Gamers, you know, loosened up a little bit. The joints are kind of loosened up a little bit. What a well shot. Played to you. All right. Thank you, John. Hey, this is a story of a perfect back nine. Let's birdie them all. With a couple aces. If well we ace there. a couple, your score down to even I'm going to go and say it. If we ace Let's one, we get this I one retire. The pin. If we ace two, I retire, and then I unretire, and then I retire again. <laughs> 173 yard par three here. I'm going to go eight iron. Let this wind push it. Roll it left to right. What a beautiful view, though. This course Just is phenomenal. Swing. Is it going to roll down? I, it might. Oh, don't you dare stop. Are you kidding me? It's going to stop. It's going right at it, too. Nice approach. Wow. Good that might have been 18 in. 18 feet to the cup. Golf is a mean sport, you know? Why do we play such a mean sport? Oh, yeah. That'll that work shows nice. that it... Birdies in a row for you. The ace would have went in there if I would would have hit it a little bit harder. We had the line, but that's back-to-back -back birdies here on the back. One under par. Stepping up to a par what is the Christmas? Here. What is the Christmas train? It's a movie, right? Polar Express, right? Isn't that a movie or am I making that up? I think that's like a Christmas train. So maybe the Christmas train, the Polar Express, arrived a little bit late. I'm going to attack this. We are striping tempo today. What has gotten into our swing? I wish we could say the same about swing play. But you know, it just shows what we've learned these past two or three months with me changing to the new controller. Is this controller is so nice sensitive. Shot. It's so much consistent for tempo. You don't have inconsistent tempo. But okay, with that being said, here. the swing plane is impossible. Despite that, honestly, the default Xbox controller... I still think would be my preferred controller. Just the default Xbox Series X, which is the, the new Xbox Series consoles controllers, because the swing plane is so forgiving on those controllers. On this Razer Wolverine 2, yeah, it's great for, for consistent tempo. On the Xbox controller, you have those random slows and random fasts when it just feels like you hit a perfect, right? That doesn't happen on the Razer Wolverine. But... Swing playing to me seems more important, so I may do a few rounds with the other controller and see what I think. It's been a while. Oh, come on, get in. <laughs> and speaking of swing playing, are you kidding me? Nope, par, par. <laughs> we pulled that. Almost a birdie Looking train continued, good. but the birdie train stops for a second. Drop on in there for hey, the everybody, get some hot chocolate as the birdie train has stopped, and make sure you get some extra for Ryan Gamer. And after that one, you'll stay right there at one under par. This and course is so beautiful. Here, let's see if you can stick it nice and close. We still have two game. shot dedications left. I'm saving them for hole 17 and 18. No, so don't you all worry. I haven't forgotten. Richard probably wasn't worried. Richard is probably like, oh, hopefully Ryan forgot after that bogey. <laughs> After that bogey, Richard might have just kind of kind of uh, slipped on off the video, right? Just kind of minimized the video and listened to the rest. <laughs> you can't unsee a shot dedication bogey, you know? Nice shot. That'll, it's hard to move do. past that. Just ask Daniel, the doctor of golf design. Pull down a birdie. Just ask Daniel, 39 footer, steady right to left, up the 
up the hill here. We make this. What a fun course, though. So close. Come on, look at that swing yeah, plane too. Hit. Six feet to go. I've never hit that good a swing so plane. So good. Nice putt. Birdie, birdie, par, par here to start the back. At least Not we're under one, par. Stay right there at one under. It looked for it looked okay, like for a while the there. Out there. We we're gonna shoot about eight over. A one thirty six downhill fifteen into the headwind. I like this pitching wedge. Come on, please hit the ball straight, Ryan. We Ooh, did kind of. Good. Diagonal swing play and canceled each other out. Oh, what a shot. And uh, that's another green in regulation. Looking good. Good we'll take it. there today. That's your fourth birdie so far. Three birdies on the back. We're heating up. See, I just had to work out the stiffness. Imagine if Ryan Gamer would have hit the range before this round, like usual, instead of being so confident and excited about the par Two three course. Par for the day after that one. Come on, Ryan. And teeing this one up on the 15th hole. The sculpting on this golf course, the planting, everything is superb. Every single golf hole honestly has been a postcard moment. This is a picture-perfect Christmas golf course. I'm attacking this one. It's downhill 24. I'm going to put this on the right side and let it roll right into the hole. Huh. <laughs> okay. Or... Safe approach. Nice. I want a 31-foot putt. this is from way, way out. And I want to make it. As John says, way, way out. It's going to break too much, right? Ah, so close. A solid read. I pulled it Three anyways. Feet left. And still at two under There's still a chance for an ace. And remember, two aces and I retire. And one ace, I retire. Two aces, I retire, unretire, and retire again. To tee off here on the be, stay hole. tuned for that. 215-yard par 3 here on the 16th. What if dedicated ace here, dedicated ace on the next hole, and then a dedicated bonus eyes close ace? Let's just be realistic and dedicate the shot, and we'll do we'll do a dedicated eyes close on the 18th. Well, no, let's not push our luck. Let's settle down. Let's just make it. That was an interesting swing start. It's hard to uh, pull back the swing that much to the right well, at the like beginning. Looks like you're a bit off on that approach. Alrighty, second shot on the Only 16th. Ryan Gamer can do swing plane combinations like that one. Oh, go in. Good try. Way to chip that one close. Well done. And currently sitting at two under par. What a golf course, though. This is fantastic. You know, we have fun on these videos on the Looks channel, like though, don't we? It's always a blast. I have so here. much fun with you all. Thank you all for all the support here. 2024 is right around the corner. Who knows? You might be watching this video in 2024. What a view. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Richard, are you thinking what I'm thinking? This one's for you, Richard. 154 yards. We have a pitching wedge in hand. It's going to fly about eight yards further. Nine yards further. This could be in. Which for you, Richard? Come on, please. One time. One time. Come on, kick left. Santa, all Ryan Gamer once for Christmas is a dedicated ace on the 18th hole. Richard has got right, two missed greens. Shot is the the you know, fringe is close enough to a made green. Let's just put this one in for a dedicated birdie. To the great designer, Rich in UFC 99. Oh. Here we go. Par pot. Doesn't sound Let's as do good it. doing that entrance or doing that that plug and missing it, right? This putt's going. And that has kept you at two under par. Two under, you know, this round could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot better. You all are going to crush my round. The 18th. 
that that's amazing wow all i can say is wow the train in the backdrop the snow-capped mountain this is fantastic what are we looking at here youtube you know i always say the 18th hole bring should want to bring the golfer back right it should be a view that you're like wow i remember that golf course and i want to come back to that golf course and well richard did that didn't he that is fantastic what better way to finish than a dedicated ace on one of my least favorite golf holes a long par three the richard this one's for you or hybrid in hand we're gonna land it short Roll it up off that left or right slope. Please go in. Come on, Santa Claus, if you're up there, I see Santa's train. It's Santa. Ha no, I see Santa's sleigh. Santa's up there. All right, Santa. Go to the golf hole. Put a magnet in there real fast. And we should be good to go. Thank you, Santa. Okay. I want to get a screenshot from here. Kind of close, but I like this view. What do you all think? that like a good view of like the mountain top and everything go all right santa we gave santa time to do what he needs to do up there one time nice swing on to that one My goodness. Good work. Wow, we gave it a run. Santa? Where were you at on that one? He must have put the magnet somewhere else. He put the magnet here. Oh, what a shot. Imagine if that drops. This birdie's for you, Richard. Well, what, is, what did Richard get? A bogey, a par. So that's three points. You get to six points dedicated. Oh. Seven foot pot here. Santa? <laughs> well, uh, all right, Richard, this par is for you to get to five points dedicated. What a golf course, though. This is amazing. This putt's tracking. That is amazing. And Just with wow. That your round is over. Not the greatest round of golf, but we did bounce back despite a one over front nine. We did bounce back to get to under par and played some good golf. Good is a strong word. Played some solid golf towards the end there after we made the turn. That was so much fun. We, Ryan Gamer just played a par three course with 61% greens in regulation. 1.5 punch per hole, not bad. A 52, a 200 par on the scorecard. That is an easy favorite. That is an easy five star. That is one of the prettiest winter golf courses I've played. Wow, and for it to be a par three course that's right up my alley, big thank you to Richard Hall for designing this phenomenal golf course. Get on out there and play it, everybody, and definitely shoot better than I did. Make sure you warm up, hit the range before you dive into the round, and if you go out there and shoot 10 under par, and don't leave a comment saying, well, Ryan, I didn't even hit the range and I shot 10 under, you know? Just leave that part out of it. Just be like, yeah, Ryan, I hit the range around an hour. You were right. Yeah, I shot 10 under par. Great stuff, Ryan. <laughs> but thank you all for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And I have plenty of other PGA 2K23 and other gaming content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. Just check the channel page and scroll through. You're likely to find another video and another video series that you enjoy. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.